This is the future. Before we continue this video, I would just like to know your thoughts about the new update. Some of the new stuff in Citrine's last wish are pretty good, while some stinks so, I would like to know your feedbacks first about the new update, let me know in the comment section below. In this video, we will talk about another good thing about Citrine's last wish. One may say that this is broken, but I think it's perfectly balanced in the sense that it won't get abused by players because we all know there's no infinite energy in Warframe, I'm talking about Revenant's Mesma skin. For some reason, we hit the perfect spot when we talked about this a week before its initial release, it turns out that we are right, that Revenant's Mesma shield augment will be the top augment for supporting teammates. Not just good support, but godlike support as it enables the user to have full invulnerability over status and damage no knockdowns, and no deaths when you gain a Mesma skin charge. But wait, the augment is kinda odd, and when you read its description, you will determine that it got some limitations. So, Mesma shield is not good? Is it a bummer augment? First of all, the Mesma skin strength does not scale from ability strength on this augment as it is a fixed 50% to the original 6 charges at the base, so it is a true plus 3 charge only. When modding, if you subsume damage buffing ability like raw, calculate your marginal benefit of whether strength or this mod can bring you more benefits. If your strength is greater than this mod of 3 charges, go with strength as it can also benefit your buffing ability, otherwise, stick with this, plus you can help your teammates, or screw them up if they are playing Hunter Adrenaline, Rage Build. Yes, this is kind of a double-edged sword. As a revenant with Mesmo Shield, you intend to make them immortal but, I don't think that tank or frames using Hunter Adrenaline or Age would appreciate your thoughts. It can give 5 charges to teammates, and while it's mediocre at first glance, in team composition, this is crazy as you can just spam the ability whenever you want with all those crazy infinite energy setups that we have right now. Even just having a simple trinity in your team would make a big difference, and your team will turn extremely tanky and immortal. This is one gripe that other support players also have with this augment though, it somehow makes healing and damage reduction obsolete because of what Mesma Shield has to offer, fucking immortality. This can be used in different ways, and not just ordinary missions. This means that Revenant is a superb teammate in Arjun Hunts. Not only that he can do it solo, but he can provide the team enough survivability to take down Archons together easily. Mesma skin is also a good counter to knockdowns and magnetic attacks of Eidolons which makes him a good replacement for Harrow. But squad leader, the critical chance is better so Harrow is better? Well, Void Rig exists to rip out the hearts of Eidolons. If you have at least one, then you can take them down easily. Steel Path missions will be fairly easy with Revenant in the team, especially against boss fights like those fucking sentient bird, the Rockalol East. The best part about this is its range is based on affinity which means you have 50 meters and can be 75 meters when you choose to pair it with Vazarin's passive. The only bummer about this is that it doesn't seem to work with companions, and even defense targets. The same goes with Cornbots or Necromeshs. Hell, if this work with Void Rig, then this big Gorokin bot would be useful in the new conjunction survival mission. It's a great survivability tool. But I just don't know if Revenant mains are willing to share and remove some power strength in place of this new mod or remove the Thrall Pact mod which deals massive damage along with Roar or Eclipse. If you are a Revenant main, then let me know in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching. Squad Leader signing off.